Hi Cancers, welcome back to my channel Answers by Divine. This is going to be for your November uh, general reading, general reading and love reading. Okay, two reads in one. All right, I have shuffled the cards prior before. Okay, so just a couple of shuffles to get the energy for the sign of Cancers. For the sign of Cancers, uh, November general reading, we'll be using three spreads. Uh, we'll be using three spreads with three cards in each of the spread. A total of nine cards okay so this is gonna be for cancers for the sign of cancers uh, for the sign of cancer cancers cancer okay so general reading one last shuffle one last shuffle for cancers one last shuffle for cancers general reading three spreads using three cross each okay cancers we're ready so for Cancer's general reading, can we have three spreads using three cross each? Hmm, why is it slanted? Alright, Cancers, this is your general reading, your bottom of the deck overall energy is here. Alright, so now let's uh, do lay out your love spread. Love spread for Cancers for the sign for the month of November 2018. For Cancers love reading. Cancers love reading. For Cancers love reading. For Cancers love reading, what do we have? Similarly, we will have three spreads using three cross in each of the spread. All right. So not all the spreads will be for you. Just take whichever spread is more relevant or resonates with you more. Okay. One last shuffle for Cancer's Love Reading, November 2018. Can we have three spreads using three cross in each of the spread for Cancer's, Cancer's Love Reading, November 2018? Right, your bottom of the deck overall energy wow cancers i don't mean to look at them but i took a peep if you can see the bottom of the deck what are they if you know if you're familiar enough okay they are both major arcanas another heavy long reading okay Cancers, let's begin with your general reading, all right? Your general reading, we start off with the Six of Cups in reverse. That's your energy with its, when it's actually in reverse. Knight of Swords in the upright position and Six of Pentacles in a reverse position, all right? So let's come into the numerology later on in a later part, okay? So Six of Cups in reverse is about... This is you. This is coming from you. And when Six of Cups is in upright position, this is happy, happy or fond memories from the past. And this is in reverse. This is you not having, uh, like, not having happy or fond memories about someone or about a place. Okay, so this is general reading. We will try to be more objective and not read it towards the love. The love we have got the love spread. So let that be. Okay, let that love be love. This general reading. Let's be more objective and be more. Uh, general in could be in your work or family domestic okay so six of cups in a reverse position some of you might not have a uh, might not have a, a a good or a fond memory about your childhood okay I, I'm hearing childhood over here for the next message the first was that about the past uh, you do not have like or there's unpleasant memories unpleasant uh there is at one point in time where you had unpleasant time with someone or at a place. Okay, at a place could be in in uh at work in an office. Okay, but otherwise the next message I'm getting is actually unpleasant memories from childhood. Six of 
Six of Cups in reverse. The next card is actually your Knight of Swords in upright position. Upright is impacting external energy, impacting on you. Okay, impacting on you. So external energy coming towards you. This is Knight of Swords. Um, this because this is a Knight. This is a fiery. This is a fast energy. So it is. It is looking like someone is coming towards you to pick a fight or coming towards you not for a good cause not for a good cause like coming towards you to ask for something ask for money to ask for a favor uh basically this is not a, the best card okay this is knight of swords in upright position this is coming towards you yeah i mean if you look at this knight this is going back this knight is going backwards okay the next card we have we have is actually six of pentacles in reverse six of pentacles in the upright position is about forgiving giving being generous and um uh, let go of the past sometimes like let go and forgive but like when we forgive is really letting things go okay and this is in reverse reverse is about not able to let go of probably the six of cups in reverse not able to let go of the past memories the past experience uh uh the past whatever is passed to you over here not able to give in not able to forgive not able to be generous to people from the past or about a situation from the past okay and this is coming from you this is in reverse this is your energy cancers okay so with these three cards coming together let's see what can i form the message as i jowl them up I'm feeling like the first message is someone from the past, someone from the past whom you had an experience, had an encounter with, is coming towards you to ask for something from you. But because of the things that they did in the past to you, like they were not exactly the best, the nicest towards you, you are not able to help them, to forgive them, to just to help them this time round, okay? Or to even entertain them this time round. If it's not for a favor asking, but typically right now I'm seeing that you are not even wanting to entertain them. You have no intention, no desire, no wish to entertain them, okay? Because of this Six of Pentacles in reverse, you might not have forgiven them, forgiven them. Uh, you might not have um, like let go of the past yet. It still means it, there is still a wound in you okay for them to come back for them to come back or come to you come nearer to you come close to you it might be a family member because then if it's a family member it is not someone who is like done and over with you will never be able to be done and over with with a family member all right but if it's if it's not a family member like not relatives not family member if it's an ex-colleague or whatsoever um, you might not have been, you might not have recovered fully and you still remember what they have previously done to hurt you, all right, with, with their actions, with their words, with their behavior. If it's a family member, then it is like really deep-rooted, uh, deep-rooted memories of what they, who they were before, the things that they did before, okay, which impacted on you and you are not able to, um, to outgrow from there to outgrow from there okay coming to the numbers we have two cards of number six all right number six is about your family your family uh your loved ones or children okay i'm getting this last third message over here and this is this is supposed to be a very niche message not for everyone because this is something to do with abortion okay i'm looking i'm seeing these two cards over here if you see what i see you might not resonate with this with this reading with this message but if you see what i see this knight of swords over here is asking for this children this children okay this knight of swords this Knight of Swords is coming towards this Six of Cups, the children, okay? The children over here in reverse. It's, it looks like to me... The first message that I got, but it, it, 
I now that I don't I don't see this how these two pictures looks like it. But the first message that I got is that there was this person who asked for an abortion. Okay, there was this person who asked for an abortion. But right now, when I look at the photo, when not the photo, the picture itself. All right, when I look at the picture itself, there might be this person who's coming in to to ask for uh to get the child the child the kids the children custody okay the kids custody over here this knight is coming back for the children custody which he did not use to get he did not get it in the past okay in the past he did not get it now he's coming back for the children for the kids so this is a very niche message not for everyone okay it might be your dad okay for some of you if it's not your spouse your current um like if it's not your spouse your partner before then it can be your own uh your own could be a dad or mom all right because this is a night but let's be let's make it gender agnostic okay so maybe someone is coming back to uh to uh like one thing to acknowledge back with you okay and six of pentacles is that there is no unable to forgive unable to forgive and forget the past so a couple of messages that i got over here anyway coming back to the numerology reading we have number six two cross of number six it means something all right with number six it means family your loved ones and also children so generally in your in your reading in your first spread over here um it might be pertaining to in this situation where someone is coming back for someone regardless of what the situation is the keyword here is coming back okay might be a person whom you got to know from the past or uh your family member from the uh not from the past like family member is always there but family member is coming back to revisit you and you could not forgive them for what they have done okay so the keyword here the essence here is someone is coming back so and you are not able to forgive in this month of november but okay they're not able to forgive not only in this month of november but someone is coming back in this month of november so number six six and six is 12 12 is one and two equals to three number three is a process where you cannot miss okay number three is a process where you cannot miss uh, like you have to go through the process you cannot skip a bit you cannot jump a step ahead and just cut it like totally not um, deal with it at all no you have to deal with it that's number three if I'm getting right getting it right six and six is twelve twelve is one and two one and two equals to three yep yeah. so number three is really about um, yeah going through the process you cannot skip a bit you cannot just turn your back away turn your back around and ignore this person okay this is the time this month you have to deal with this person whoever is to come back to seek for you to look for you you just have to entertain you just have to entertain use the word entertain and if you really do not desire do not look forward to this then just entertain okay that's your first reading, your first spread. Your next spread, we have got the world in reverse, king of cups in reverse, and page of swords in reverse. The first message I'm getting, the first message I'm getting over here is conflict, conflict. Okay, getting into conflict because this page of swords over here, this is a person who's very blunt and straightforward. A page is someone who is young. When we talk about some, someone young. They will just they do not know the art of speaking the art of um of communication they just say what what is in their mind they just say and they just be blunt it is blunt it is unpolished okay so this is page of sorts this to me straight up i'm getting the idea of there is some conflicts over here okay but let's get back to the rest of the card for the first we start off with the the world in reverse okay so this world in reverse um it's not like it is in a mess this world in reverse in your reading i'm feeling and i'm seeing that it is unfinished business unfinished business all right so we have this world in reverse and this is unfinished business by you okay cancers you have unfinished business 
personally by yourself okay you need to tie up the loose end you need to revisit or you have a past that you have not uh, you have not totally got out of or you have not totally conclu have a conclusion concluded that event with that person okay the knight uh, sorry not the knight the king of cups in reverse the king of cups over here is in reverse so this is about someone who has no interest at all all right a king of cups is someone who is very loving who is a gentleman who is um, able to you know like hold the door be a gentleman who's able to love who has the capacity to to allow to take in more to take care of someone over here this is the king of cups in reverse this person either refused to or have no capacity to to allow another person whoever another person is a new person or to allow um people from the past like this person just do not forgive and forget this person is not a gentleman in a way i mean but i'm not saying that if this is you you're not a gentleman but certain things we cannot be too gentlemanly right there are certain things we need to uh, stand we need to keep to our stance over here And this page of swords is in upright position. This upright position is someone coming towards you, impacting on you, on your life. So this person is coming in with very blunt. So it looks like to me, your past unfinished business, whoever you had a past with, you had a connection with, can be past life or in this lifetime, it can be a family member, relative or whosoever, someone who you know, okay? you had something to do with them before and there wasn't any conclusion it was not the end yet from then like in the past there was it was not the end yet and this person might be coming back this is external energy external person coming in this because this is upright okay this person is coming back and to speak very bluntly to you or to say uh could be a narcissist could be a someone who is uh, just unruly unruly or just rude plain rude or just demanding okay just demanding sometimes this person can be cold or you or it can mean that you are cold you are cold towards this person it's like you do not end you have not ended or concluded a relationship or a tie with someone from the past i'm actually pointing more towards domestic relationship i'm not talking about love relationship okay um you might not have an ending or a conclusion with someone only because there are ties blood ties and also because you have been cold from the past you just turn away turn around and walk away okay you have been cold you have been ignoring them from the past okay this is so much that i'm getting for you cancers and there is no numbers over here so there's no uh, reading into numbers the world king of cups and the page of swords over here with the cups with the suit of cups and the swords over here i'm feeling like the things that are being said over here with the sword over here swords are about communication thinking or more like communication over here it pierces through it hurts you or it bothers you and you mind whatever this person is saying like everything that this person says just just have an impact on you regardless of what the impact is it upsets you it opens up your wound or it just hurts you or it just um when i say hurt you i mean to say like it just brings back all the emotions back into you okay The person might be someone of importance because it's also the role. We have the role card over here. This person might be of someone who is important, of importance to you, means something to you. Okay. By the way, coming to that, we it is looking like we have the first spread and the second spread pointing towards the same message over here.
I'm getting another message though. This is a very niche message again. For some of you might be dealing with a with a child, with a children, with a kid, okay? And this kid might not be yours. This kid might be your partner's children, your partner's kids, kid, kids. It doesn't really make sense. Is it is like loose message that I'm getting over here. It's coming back to you because this is a page. A page is someone who is young also. The this kid is coming back towards you, but because you are the king of cups over here, you're the king of cups in reverse. It's like you do not feel a thing. You do not feel for this kid. So if you do not feel for this kid, then whose whose kid is this? Whose kid does this belong to? Might not be yours. It will be somebody else's kid, okay? The next spread, we actually have Ace of Pentacles in reverse, your energy. Two of Wands in reverse, your energy. Five of Cups in upright position. This is external energy impacting on you. Five of Cups in upright position. Did I say reverse? No, this is upright position. Okay, so Ace of Pentacles over here. It is you probably in some kind of... The first message that I'm getting over here is that you might be in some kind of financial difficulty or financial mess or trouble with planning your finances. Not that you might not... You might be in a in a in a tight situation, in a very tight financial situation, but more like you have difficulty planning how to how how to plan or in, invest or disperse your funds or how to use your funds, what to use it on. So this is the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Uh, sometimes it's also it's also meaning to say you might not have sufficient funds for yourself for whatever reason. Okay, there might be a cause for you to need a. A big amount of money a lump sum which you might not have it but otherwise you might you are pretty good like you can you can still afford on a day-to-day -day basis all right this is ace of pentacles in reverse i'm also getting another message is that some of you are looking at your bank account and you feel like you do not have enough savings you do not have enough for you to plan something for you to have a new plan, for your new plan, for you to use it to execute a new plan. That's additional message for you. The next card, we have two of wands in reverse, all right? Two of wands in upright, this is, it, it is like that. It is making a decision, making a decision, and this decision looks like a worldly decision. A worldly decision means to say it important, important decision because we have the globe over here. Okay, and this person is really looking far. When we say looking far, like looking far ahead, it is a long-term, long-term decision. It is a decision that impacts you, okay, for long, for long, for a substantial amount of time, a period of time, okay? And this two of ones in reverse is about you not coming to a decision. You either you're unable to make a decision or you are you do not want to make a decision or you are careful about making a decision. Okay. The next card we have is five of cups. Immediately I'm getting someone is coming <laughs> coming to you to ask for money. Okay. This is external energy coming towards you. This person comes in like very emotional this person comes in very sad very upset like you know like look at some of the cups are all overturned it's like their life are in a mess their life are in a mess and they are just like that they are just like can you help me can you help me okay so i'm feeling like maybe this person is coming in to ask you for your pentacle and this is quite a a, a substantial amount okay and you're unable to think or to decide whether should you take out, should you invest, should you give them, should you help them. But because this person is like that, five of cups, they are, they are very emotional. Okay, let's look at the numbers, all right? We have two and five over here, that's number seven. Number seven is conflict, okay? Numerolo in numerology, number seven, number seven means uh, conflict. 
Number six is about your children, family, someone dear or close to you, okay? And number seven is conflict. Having conflict with someone or someone whom you have you had conflict with from before or maybe this time round because this person is coming in looking like that, looking so stressed out and this person comes in to seek help from you but because it's like you, you are not like you are not even in a super position yourself like you're not even well off well to do why do you come to me for money like why do you come to me i'm I, i'm just barely i just barely have enough for myself and now you're asking me for money and because of that maybe there might be conflict all right because two and five that's number seven seven is conflict or maybe be for whatever reason it's like because sometimes if we talk about money 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 can be sensitive issues all right can be sensitive issue between when you talk about money so there might be some awkwardness conflict arising due to this due to this okay the overall general energy is the wheel of fortune all right the wheel of fortune this is in upright position this is happening on you impacting on you coming towards you all right wheel of fortune is about positive change positive change all right positive change is coming towards you or it would mean that you will need it is asking you to make to make positive change to have positive change okay so this is the wheel of fortune so pertaining to all of this reading it is looking like you are going to deal with some difficult uh, uh, couple of difficult people over here because all this spread are pointing to me that everyone that's coming into your life is here for a reason like is coming to ask for something from you it's going to it's going to come in to ask for something from you i'm actually feeling like this might be the last time for whoever that's coming into your life whatever that they're asking from you might be the last time because the wheel of fortune over here is a positive change so there might be a positive change in soon to come if you entertain them for the last time like make this the last time and after this last time they will be gone forever and you will have good change positive change over here the wheel of fortune it will you will finally be turning to turning the way you wanted it to be okay ooh, ooh, ooh. um with all that numbers we have six and six that's 12 12 and 2 that's 14 14 and 5 14 and 5, that's 19. 19 is 1 and 9 equals to 10. 10 is 1, all right? So this is about independent, being alone, being spiritual, okay? Being spiritual, being independent, being alone, working on yourself, uh, working on yourself, being a better version of yourself, uh, sometimes reflecting on yourself as well. Like, what what have you done to give people the, imp the impression that they can come to you so easily and work on that? work on that work on yourself your self image okay and also um, trust intuition trust your intuition divine because number one is a very spiritual number all right and also being independent focus on yourself uh, stay away from people and just be alone for a while at least for this month of november because if you get the more you the more you socialize or the more you reconnect or connect with people okay then the more it will take from you in terms of time resources mental and energy okay so that's your general reading let's look at your love reading okay by now i'm kind of uh, worn out i'm trying to do rush out for all of you i have leo and virgos to go but that's all for today you will be the last okay so cancers coming back to your love okay so now we are coming into your love reading so general reading we are done so people are coming back coming towards you to ask for ask for things from you make it the last time and your will will change okay So your love reading, we have got justice in reverse. 
okay this is justice in reverse this is your energy all right you have not concluded again there's something in your love life for those who resonated with the first spread over here there is a love situation where it is not concluded by you you have to be the one who concludes it okay who have a conclusion to it who close put a close put an ending to a chapter over here the next card is ace of wands in an upright position this is external energy impacting on you coming towards you ace of wands over here so someone is having an expectation on you or about you okay expecting you to give them expecting you to for whatever okay whatever the next card I will come in more into that card. Okay, let's just go through the cards first. The next card we have is actually the moon card in upright position. So the moon card is someone who might not be truthful, might not have presented the information or everything about them truthfully or openly to or clearly to you. That's the moon in upright position. This is the other person. Okay, the other person. I feel like you might be dealing with a with someone for the, now this is a love relationship okay you might be dealing with a mate with with a partner who is consuming you who is consuming you because this person is not presenting full facts full figures everything about themselves and yet they are asking from you like they are expecting a lot from you ace of wands wands are the desire the hope the dream, they are dreaming about you, dreaming that you can do things for them, you can be there for them, but they are not even, they are not showing all of them, they are not telling you the truth, they are not telling you everything about them, but they are expecting things from you, okay? And the justice in, is in reverse, it can also mean unfairness, you feel like you have been taken advantage, you are in a position where, um, like, you are not having the edge, you are not having the edge to fight this person, to overcome this person like you might be in a weaker position where you know every time when you have to deal with this person or this person asks something from you when i say ask something from you in a love relationship i mean to say when you deal with this person and this person asks to meet maybe ask to meet you and you'll be like you will turn you will be weak again you know every time when so this is how it is looking like sometimes when we are not with that person like we we are not with that person physically side by side we tell ourselves that next time this person if they text me if they ask me out i would not go i would not reply but when this person texts you and talk to you 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 will turn weak and turn soft again you'll be like or you will feel obliged and obligated or you just cannot resist the temptation or the want to con to connect with them to communicate to talk to them so this is justice in reverse is it is like you are in a weaker position over here okay so with this three cards it is looking like to me some of you might be dealing with someone who's consuming you who's like you know in a relationship it is supposed to be happily ever after but some of you for those who resonated with the first break you might be in a relationship whereby this person gives you a lot of stress like this person creates a lot of tension in your life but there's no way you can pull out or pull away from this person because it's like it feels like you the um the like what it feels like it is not the end yet with this person like there is still more to come more to go there is still it is not the time yet like it is not the end you know how sometimes if it's the end with someone we know like this is really the end like i'm done so done with it but for towards this person you are not done yet even though as much as you might want you might feel weak you might feel like this is not the best for you and you feel being treated uh being ill treated in a relationship in a partnership you feel like it is unfair or you have been taken advantage you have been you're just in a weaker position but even though so you do not yet have the strength to pull out to end to terminate this also because this is divine timing speaking of which we have two major arcanas over here the justice and the moon card over here so this is to me could be karmic could be karmic okay there's no numbers so let's continue on to your second spread Your second spread, we have Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, we have sim similar cards happening in your spread. 
that doesn't matter. So seven of wands in an upright position and queen of pentacles in a reverse position. Ace of pentacles in reverse position, this is you, okay? It is either you not wanting to offer, having nothing to offer. This is ace of pentacles in reverse, this is you, okay? When I say offer, it means giving love giving love you are unable to give love you do not want to give love give interest i feel like you do not you are not giving enough attention giving enough focus or you are not giving you're not wanting to focus too much on this person and this person in turns for those of you this is looking more like for those of you who are in a in a relationship who has got someone over here okay it is looking more like this person is finding trouble, is picking up a fight with you that is seven of wands upright over here. This is about, you see how, look at this person. This person is really coming to pick, pick a fight. Look at the face, look at the, emo, uh, the ex expression over here, okay? This person is really coming in to pick a fight. And the next card we have is actually Queen of Pentacles in reverse, all right? Queen of Pentacles in an upright position and Queen of Pentacles in reverse. This is you. Uh, when we talk about Queen, Queen is someone who's nurturing, who's loving, tender loving, nurturing, caring. Um, and this is you in reverse. So... Let me try to gel. How should I put it across to you? This looks like to me, Kansas, for those of you who resonated with this spread over here, you have nothing to give. You have nothing to give to this person, okay? And this person is trying to annoy you, irritate you, or trying to pick a, pick a fight with you, get into conflicts with you. And somehow it might just push you to, you know right from the beginning is like, you have no nothing to offer to this person, to this relationship, that's fine, you know, we just... Just experience it and see where it brings us to find you know I'm not going to I'm not gonna this I'm not going to reject this um this relationship or reject you but it, it just feels like um maybe like I do not know how 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 do we move on from here but that's fine you know we will just watch and see how we grow what where where do we go from here but because this person might be pushing their way might be pushing or forcing you um just in terms of their actions might be nasty because this is seven of wands all right look at this person he or she is being nasty over here and ultimately it pushes you to the end of the road the cliff where this is the queen of pentacles where you no longer no longer um no longer care, no longer want to give. The Ace of Pentacles is about you unable to give, having nothing to give or not wanting, not sure about giving. And this person just pushes you to the edge, to the end of the cliff. And ultimately, the Queen of Pentacles in reverse is I'm sure now that I'm not going to give you anything. I'm sure now that you are not the one for me. I'm, I, I do not want you. I do not want to be in a relationship with you. Even though this is not the this is not the type of cards that turn out like like a like a fallout. Fallout will be like four of ones in reverse or three of cups, where there are three parties. There are like external influences, but this Queen of Pentacles is enough to say that. I'm not going to nurture, not going to grow this relationship because this is motherly, this is growing, nurturing energy. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna grow and nurture this nurture in this type of relationship with this type of person over here. Okay. 
And number seven, we have over here your numerology in your second spread is number seven. Seven is conflict. Having conflict with someone over here. Someone having conflict with you, getting into conflicts with you, pushing their way through, enforcing, enforcing on you. I am getting this message, so this is again a pretty niche message for some of you. Some of you might be dealing with a spouse. This is like a spouse, alright? A spouse or if not just a partner, okay? Just a partner who might be a... Who might be wasted okay someone who is good for nothing who is not working who is jobless and always comes back home to ask for money <clears throat> to ask for money to ask for to ask to ask for things to ask from things from you okay and it always ends up that the both of you having fights and towards the end is like you finally decided that you are not going to give in anymore with the queen of pentacles like the nurturing energy is like i've decided to cut the cord i'm no longer going to uh give in to you anymore <clears throat> actually the first spread and the second spread sounds like the same to me someone is expecting a lot from you expecting something from you or a lot from you and they're not presenting the truth and you're in a weaker position the same for the second spread over here all right you have nothing to give you're not wanting to give and this person actually comes in forceful and uh con and be in conflict with you and it just push you to the end of the road it just push you to the end of the road <clears throat> The next spread, which is your third spread, we have Ace of Cups over here. This is falling out of love, all right? This is you, your energy in reverse. And Five of Cups, after you fall out of love, you are coming out of con out of emotional turmoil, all right? You're coming out of emotional turmoil. This is number five. Five of Cups is about um, being emotional, looking at one point, like, unable to get out of the past and this is in reverse you're coming out from an emotional turmoil you're healing you're recovering okay and the next card is two of swords in reverse all right so this is again your energy so two of swords in the upright position is about cutting out in reverse it, it is about um communication all right communication probably also dealing with dealing with life generally just like dealing with whatever that you're going through over here so i'm seeing these two cards over here is for those of you who resonated with this third, third spread over here some of you some of you uh, okay some of you might might uh recently come out from a relationship fall out from a had a fallout fell out fell out from a relationship okay and recovered and this card actually means to say that you might be having to tie up the loose end it's like sometimes you need time away first before you continue to to connect with to to face to deal with this person like to deal with this person you need some time away you need to get yourself up you need to get a breather first before you come back you need to recharge yourself before you have the energy to deal with this person okay so, so this is for some of you who might be going through more intense um situation where there is like a like you need to have a conclusion with this person like probably um to talk about splitting of dividend asset finances housing kids having so before you go into that discussion you need to take time away to recharge yourself to heal yourself and be like okay now we are ready to go in okay so this is two of swords in reverse opening up your communication opening up your communication with someone whom you came out from the past came out with from the past and after you have healed okay after you have healed and it 
otherwise it will just mean that you will open up communication with somebody new okay there might be somebody new whom you're opening up a communication with so it's like you come out from the last relationship and you're opening up communication to communicate with new people all right otherwise i'm getting the third message over here for this third spread is that after you have come out from a relationship and after you have healed there seem to be a like a reconciliation looking like a reconciliation because two of swords is about getting back into communication two of swords in upright position is about crossing xing out cutting out blocking them away this in reverse is about unblocking revisiting revisiting a communication with them okay with the numerology we have five and two that brings us to number seven again all right number seven again in this third spread if we if this is a number seven it looks like a separation first and then taking some time away before you continue to deal with each other for the next part the next chapter in a sense like if you have to go through some paper documents to deal with each other have to talk to each other it's like <sighs> Like, it is not easy, really not easy, okay? So, number seven, again, this is conflict, all right? Having conflict with someone, having conflict with someone whom you have came out of from a relationship and having to deal with them again, okay? Maybe reconciliation, but not so strongly into that because if number seven is a conflict, reconciliation is not likely to happen, okay it's not likely to happen so overall general energy we have got the chariot in upright position this is external energy impacting on you this is a chariot i'm hearing the first message is asking you to run 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 as fast as you can run just run chariot is about speeding speed up move 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 go 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 so this is a chariot in upright positions asking you to run to speed up to move to go okay Run away from these people over here. Like in all these three spreads, it's conflicting. This person for the first spread, the moon and the ace of wands, is expecting you. It's like you're in a in a lower position than this someone. And this someone is not being truthful and honest and always asking a lot from you. Why would you want to be with this person for one? For the second, all right? This person is, we have the seven of wands. This person is agitating you, annoying you. Like picking up a fight with you why would you be with this person the third spread over here after you heal after you came out from a relationship with someone and you still have to go back to revisit something some issues with them or if it's not to revisit any kind of issues but if they just happen to knock on your door or just text you to reconnect why would you reconnect with someone whom you have already healed and you why do you want to put yourself back into that place so this card the overall general energy is the chariot is asking you to move to run away from these people whom you're dealing with it is looking like to me in the month of november cancers whoever that you are dealing with might not be the best person for you okay i i'm i'm not seeing any good any good messages over here i'm not a very negative person <laughs> like i'm actually a pretty positive person in my own life but sometimes when the reading turns out to be negative it's not because the reader is negative it's just that the messages are just that i can't let me try to see whether if i can force out any positive message justice in reverse Ace of Pentacles in reverse. The justice is not doing you justice by, you know, giving you a fair share of dividend or alimony. Okay, for you to, for those of you who are getting alimony, going through separation, like having alimony, getting, uh, getting your monthly alimony from your partner, from your spouse. The justice is in reverse. It's not doing you justice. It's not helping you to get the funds, the money from your, from the rightful person, your rightful amount of amount. Your deserving amount and the ace of cups is you just losing losing your heart
really. I, I can't I can't I can't force out any positive message. All the cards are pointing towards you being in a in a weaker position. You being in a weak position or a weaker position if you in comparison in comparison to whoever that you are dealing with right now. Okay? The only positive card is this chariot. And this card, this card to me is asking you to run, okay? It's not asking you to progress, it's progress with this person, no. It's asking you to run. If I add up all the number, we have 7 of 1s, uh, 5 and 2 is another 7. So 7 and 7, it is 14. 14 is 1 and 5. Uh, sorry, 14 is 1 and 4 equals to 5, alright? Number 5 is about hard work. Putting in effort, conscientious effort to... Uh, putting in effort and this again let me repeat myself this is conscientious effort all right putting in a lot of hard work to pull yourself away to leave this person putting having the determination number five is hard work determination facts finding a lot of groundwork to do so you have a lot of work to do with this person in in whatever terms if it whatever terms or however it can mean to you a lot of hard work and determination to pull out to pull away from this person to leave this person to get out of conflict from this person or to deal with this person continuously for other purposes not for love but for other purposes for other reasons to why the both of you still need to be in contact okay and you have to do we have to have the conscientious effort and determination and the knowledge the emotional intelligence the eq emotional intelligence to deal with this person over here okay that's number five a lot of hard work over here in your love reading in this month of november cancers okay we have one major arcana two major arcana okay just two and three major arcanas so um not so bad i feel like it is just a matter of time you'll be able to tide through and get over this all these karmic people like all these to me are just karmic people like people who doesn't do you any good in fact they're just doing you more harm consuming you and exhausting you than benefiting you okay so cancers this is your love reading that i have for you the love reading that I have for you. Alright. So till then, for any one of you who needs a personal reading, they are available in the description box below. And till then, I will see you in the next reading. And I need to rest, okay? I've like every... I've done three readings and all of them are in the length of an hour, an hour, an hour. Alright, I'm getting out of breath. Okay. So Cancers, thank you so much for your support. And um, good luck. Till then, I'll see you. Bye-bye.